All right, everybody, welcome back. We got a uh, creepy dark hallway to explore. So uh, let's get to it. Donovan. What? Donovan. Oh god, it's a <clears throat> freaking landmine. Power terminal. Um, redirect power to Lucky 38. <laughs> redirect power to Portsland. No. Lucky 38. No. Backup generator. Your funeral. They're coming. Oh, oh God. Fuck. Nicely done. You did good. Did about as good as I could with this frame rate. <laughs> Ceilings leaking blood. Why can't we just ever talk things out? We need better ammo. swap key actually worked. <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. Max. Yeah. Here we go again. This looks like a case for max charge. We made it. Curious, is the way out sealed or something? Swordstone Tower Depths. Construction is complete. It took me years to build this place, to get the land, the materials, to pay off the workers so that they would stay quiet about what lays below. 
It is exactly as it was in my vision so many years ago, right to the last detail, a great monument for their return. I won't be able to keep this place up and running for very long, for it will cost me all my wealth, but I should have enough time to break through. Henry Morningstar. Dull minds. All this sacrifice and almost nothing has come from it. Nobody has been able to withstand their will. I've tried employees, officials, scientists, even people off the streets, but nobody has retained their mind yet. Am I doing something wrong, Henry Morningstar? A little more time. I had to sell my corporate soul to house the smug prick to be able to keep this place running just a while longer. Fool knows nothing of the real power at play here. He just wants to steal my programs and use my power generators as backup for his stupid casino. Such a waste. I suspect it won't be long before the, before the authorities get involved as well. I already have reporters digging deeper than need be. I don't need the government digging as well. Assuming I succeed shortly, it won't matter anyway. Henry Morningstar. The end is nigh. I had another vision, a terrible one. The end of the known world, not at their hands, but the hands of man. So I called every last favor to help me and my few allies survive this apocalypse. My contract with Big Mountain is sending me prototype gas masks. I've also sent for rations to be sent to us food and water. We must preserve or persevere. Henry Morningstar. The new apocalypse. The petty squabbles of man finally reached a breaking point today, October 23rd, 2077. In a way that this could be a good thing, my concerns with the law potentially busting down my doors is now a non-issue, and my generators will last until, there are no long, until they are no longer necessary. A new problem arises, though, the lack of people. Is everybody, if everybody was vaporized, how can our goal proceed? Henry Morningstar. I know who I need. I had another vision, a vision of a man or a woman showing up at our doors. They must be the one, the one who will pull them back into this world. Problem is, I have no idea who they are exactly, and I have no way of finding them if I did. So I must wait, wait until they arrive. I will wait until the end of time if I must. Henry Morningstar. Arrive it. And you did arrive, Courier, as did I. Two hundred years late, but who's counting anyway? Sorry to keep you waiting. before you lose a head. Jesus, Donovan. Wait, what the? No, 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 no. This, we, there was a hallway that went that way. It, how in the hell, how did they do that? I'm just curious. Hmm. They literally just open up a door here or something as soon as your back's turned. Ancient page. Sampling the goods. 
my knees. Okay, we're about to be sacrificed to some eldritch god, and you're complaining about your needs? Your, your knees? And your needs? Titled fucking bitch. Won't be long now. Oh. These messages are very concerning. Pencil. If anyone finds this, I'm sorry you're here. pick up the scripture. Hello. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> the gun, I mean. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. Is the key? Barrel room key. Oh god. We've just become part of a 1920s movie. These scripts must be pretty heavy because my computer is not liking it. I'm just curious, what was that side tunnel off to? Hello. End of the line. How did you get back there? Hey. Why can't we just ever talk <laughs> things? Ah! Vance? Uh, up. Go, let's go for the head. Yep. Of the line. We made it! Ghost? Oh god. Don't 
Darken the page. What is reality anyway? Is this it? Getting harder to believe by the moment. Are you even the real courier? Yes, I am. Up. Oh, hey. As far as magic and like fantasy goes and Fallout, I, I feel like getting too old for this I don't have a problem with it. In fact, I'm I'm okay with it. It's it's rare enough that it's interesting to see it, and I think this is kind of like the best way to do it in almost like a Lovecraft style story. Because like they have done that in the official games. Like you got the whole Dunwich building from Fallout Three and the mine from Four. Um, and there was even the, uh, uh, what was it, like the relic quest from uh, 4 with the, uh, you had to like go up to the asylum and there's like the dad that the family was keeping locked up there and I don't know, he was like some sort of mind bender or something. But yeah, I, I feel like, oh. Welcome to the void. I'm um, a quick save. <laughs> How's it going? If that head just like started turning, it'd be pretty fucking creepy. Of course, now that I say that, it's going to happen. Oh boy. <laughs> Alright, bats, come on. Do your thing. Uh, let's aim for the guy with a gun. Yep. See ya. Hope they didn't have anything important on them. Um, the end. Well, this can't be the end. This will be my last message I leave in the waking world for you, Courier. I've reached my own point of no return, and this is yours. Let the blade guide you now, Officer Vayula. Door to the Abyssal Edge. Where'd Donovan go? 
Donovan, we are about to go to the Abyssal Edge, and you're off... <sighs> Fine. Going without him. You're off God knows where. I'm off God knows where. Uh... Yeah, I I'm not going to try to say all that. <laughs> Viola. They have no intention of helping you, I can assure you. I guess it succeeded. Oh, and we leveled up. I have something tangible and can foresee the future my choices will bring. Can you say the same? I, I don't know what you can say. Or how I have the intelligence to translate it. Do what you think is right, Viola, but not blindly and not without question. Courier. Oh, and I leveled up. Um, all right, let's take a look. I don't even remember what we were like debating on getting last time. Salt Baron. Mm. Give me a minute. You know, I actually got to look up what this one does. I don't know what this is, but if it's like extra wild wasteland stuff. But yeah, I think um, I found one I figured may as well pick up. Ammo Connoisseur. Could be useful. It's over. I will not do their bidding. I wasn't thinking of the consequences, only my new power. I'm sorry I put the world at risk. For nothing. Played a very dangerous game, Viola. Yes, I'm aware. The thing... So I could do with that power, they promised me more as well. In hindsight, I don't know why I believe them. I also realize that I can't risk anyone else making the same mistake. Six, if anyone asks about the whereabouts of this place, tell them that I am dead and to stay away from here. I'll defend this building's secrets until the end of time. Is that what you really want, to stay here forever? It's not what I want, it's what I have to do now. Six, thank you for saving me. Oh. Corrupted mask. Abyssal edge. Inaccessible. So what did we get? Items. Peril. We can click the apparel. Uh, so we got night vision. Oh god, we got freaking yellow vision. Great. Jesus, that actually hurt my eyes for a second. Okay, this is coming off. Ugh. Cool. Um, put back my. Oh! My iBot helmet's almost broke. Steam glasses? Alright, and then we'll 
was the... I think it was like a sword of some sort. You put a backup knife on the axe? Huh. thing called again? Oh, the Abyssal Edge. Okay. Pair it with a tire iron and a monkey wrench. <laughs> Whenever the sword is drawn, it slowly drains your health, which you can regain by slashing enemies with it. Be careful with this thing. <laughs> I like that. So how much does it drain my health by? It's actually not much. Test this out. Non combatant safety can no longer be guaranteed. Oh boy. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh god, they're launching fireworks. Excuse me, I gotta go Everyone deal with this guy. Back. That's what you fucking get, shooting fireworks. Freaking asshole. Does this thing have a special vat? It does. Cry in the night. What's this? I have no idea. Turned them into little ash bits. I like this. We have a freaking lightsaber. That's when you kill people, it also gives their soul to the devil. Get them. What more could you want in life? I call their boots. I call your ah! fucking soul. Uh. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see how it does against cars. <laughs> I mean, honestly, at endgame, the health drain is not that bad. Yeah, I could see myself using this for a bit. Grip tape on it too. Nice. All right. Do we still have to go back to the airport? Let them know. Uh, well, I guess tell them that their squad is dead. No. 
No, doesn't look like it. All right, well, let's see. I just want to take a look around. Whisper wind, is that? So I got a comment from uh, Cellblock on a previous video. He was mentioning that, yeah, that was one of the uh, characters uh, that he did. But he also mentioned the other place that he's involved in. And I think, let's see, Whisper Winds Cavern, yeah. It's a bit far out there, but eh, not too impractical. I think once we uh, get some more stuff going on out here, we'll uh, definitely check this out because I want to see what else is up there. I think we're going to have to go here for something too later. All right. Um, let's see. What should we do? I guess for now, just pretty much explore. Pioneer Palace. Did we pass by this? I don't remember going here. Let's go check this out. Oh, great. Already getting shot at. Run for it! Can't run from the devil's sword. <laughs> Pioneer Palace. Uh, put on my map. Or not. I guess the game decided to crash here. So uh, we're just going to cut here and uh, I'll see you all in the next episode, whenever that might be.